Guess what? What? Raining again. Yeah. Navio. Um, this is going out, not today, so we, it's all been pre-checked off, everything's been checked off. What we're just going to do now, a final check today, we've got the fridge on on the electric, we've tried it on the gas, we've tried the gas fire as well, that's working. On now gas. On the gas. Now we've got the electric on, so we're going to run that on the electric. We've put the water heater on the gas, that's fired up. Um, just want to keep an eye on this underneath here because we did change this just make sure we're getting no leaks or anything like that as well so we'll leave this running for the day now but we'll come back in a few hours and just check so let's move on to the next job Shh. Shh. we can't tell anybody right i've just moved this weinsberg up to a pitch um because the customer they're a part exchange in their van now they think they're picking it up tomorrow so what they've done is they boot a pitch on here for the night because they're coming in their van for part exchange and um, they're going to stop the night and then they think they're Andy having the van tomorrow. So what I've done is I've sneakily brought the van up to the pitch so when they come on, and I'll say, yeah, your pitch is up there, your van will be ready for you tomorrow. They're going to come up, park their van up and go, oh, how are your vans here? Well, I hope so anyway. Best plans are laid. What's the word? Best plans are laid bare or best plans? Yeah. Let us know in the comments what they are anyway. Um, so what we're going to do, let's get it set up. I'm not fully going to set the van up because they said they're going to come about dinner time and I don't know if that's going to be true. Some things that you don't see behind the scenes is my biggest bugbear is making up beds. And we need to work out how to make up this bed here. Can't find anything online, I can't find anything at all. So he's a world first exclusive, I've finally cracked it. Don't chuck the news, have you? <laughs> it didn't... Take three. Oh, looks like it's breaking news. Right, there's three camper vans on the market. And I'm going to tell you all about them. So the Sunlight Cliff camper van, um, it's now in the UK. And it has plenty of layouts for family holidays. Um, there's a pop-top bedroom that can turn into a, a roof mesh terrace. That'll be interesting to see. Dinette, spacious rear beds, a compact kitchen with a fridge. It's got large bathrooms. The 601 model even has bunks. Swift now. They've released a camper van, a pop-top trekker. So, Trekker for going off in your pop top. It's the next gen adventure they're building it as. It features sleek grey exterior with vibrant graphics, these fold away wash basins, toilets, showers. Um, the rear has a fold down bedroom as well, and a bedroom up top. Sleeps four, so that's an interesting one to see. And the last one is the Weinsberg Caralife camper van. So, it's got a folding shower. Fold away shower? That'd be interesting to see. It's got a pull out bar. Pull out bar! That's my type of a camper van pull out mm. bar and it's serving lager no it's only joking it's got a bed to sofa system it's got an l-shaped kitchen plenty of prep space so there's three camper vans for you to watch out to anyway back to what i'm doing are we ready let's go it's going to fit nicely like that see the groove you are gonna go there You are going to fit further down, and then you are going to go into there. Now, when you actually do lie down, it's quite a comfy bed, actually. So that, I think, is how you make up the deathly. What's this one for? Are you serious? Why didn't you show me that before I made the bed up? How to make up the Deathly's magic bed. Just because we sell vans, there's other things that are involved in getting a van out. So for all the people who are waiting for their van offers, you can understand where all the work goes into getting vans ready and sometimes there's a delay. Oh. See, I'm the only one slim enough to get underneath these vans, so it's me who ends up doing it all. Okay, Aldis came back because the heater was faulting and it was saying overheat. Right, yeah. So, 
could be one or two things, PC board or th uh, thermostat or the temperature sensor. So we ordered both. Could you figure out which one it was? Well, yeah, because I went to do the temperature sensor first and the wrong temperature sensor come. So I went for the PC board, which I've just done. Yeah, and now we're gonna find out if it is the PC board, that's wrong. Let's get some lights on. Oh. Oh, what am I doing? So we need to know if this heater is gonna work. Oh, I'll show you if it's gonna work in a bit. Now, nobody's broken and burgled the place, but we've got a few jobs to do on this van. Do you wanna have a quick look inside? I don't know if we've shown you this van. Uh, this is a remote, a lovely little van. We've got the drop down bed there, and then we've got the nice island bed at the back. We've got the toilet that side. Do you want to do this side and tell you what it is? That shower. Well done. Now, the one thing about this van is there's only really one power point over there somewhere, and then there's a power point up there. Mm. Uh, but the people who are buying the van want another power point putting in. So, what we're doing is we're putting one of them where where we can lift up oh, okay. and then it can drop down in. There's four power points, it's got a couple of USBs on basically. So um, it's for Mrs. Barley, they've had two or three vans off us now, so we've got to look after her. We've got good space, if you can see down there, for dropping it down. Yeah. And what we think we've got even more luck here is we've found a wire here, and I think that's is 230, um, solely for that purpose, I think. Right, you're back. So, was it the PC board, which is this, and have we fixed it? So we're going to go to, it was the space heater there, if you can remember from the last video, and it was just staying faulted. Let's go for one kilowatt of electric. So I've got my little meter, so that's going now up to 800 watts. I'm going to put number two on. Yeah, so it's roughly about 800 watts, so if you can see there, 1445. So now, we are getting, it says working, and then let me just double check there's not the three here. So the heater now is working on the electric, um, and I'm just going to leave that running for a bit now. So there we go, it was the PC board. Let's have a look at this outdoor shower that we've done in the remote. Well, it's not an outdoor, it's an indoor, but it's an indoor-outdoor. We've got a box here. Now this actually drops down the bed for up and down, so if you can just see in there, cold and the hot feeds were going around, so it was perfect then to put a tea piece in, like that. Mm. Come up to there, we've drilled a nice hole in there, put that in, and now we've obviously got the outside shower area. I wasn't too keen on drilling to the side of the van, well that's nice and easy now. Um, so we're going to keep that open and keep testing to make sure um, we've connected it all up properly. Anyway, more work. Bailey Autograph 79 stroke 4T. What does the T stand for, I wonder? Twin, isn't it? Twin, good thinking. Yeah, M's one there. She's got the right model twin for twin beds. <laughs> <laughs> you pleased yourself <laughs> now, aren't you? Hey, yeah, you know all that, yeah. Yeah. yeah? If you didn't see it off camera, it's <laughs> right, she stood there going, got you. <laughs> oh, you've just caught me when I was working. Oh, you frightened me then. Look at the. <laughs> Worktop, look at the worktop. I've ended up drilling a hole in the worktop. What we're actually doing, I don't know if you remember early in the video. Oh, let me show you. So there's our hole, nice little hole. Lifts up, we've got three plugs, we've got two USBs, and then there's the lead for it. But what we're going to do is we're going to go into there for the power. You made a right mess, haven't you? Do you mean, hang on, hang on, I've just given Adam all the credit for it. Adam's made a mess, but you know the worst part about it? You're getting blown for it. You've got to clean it up. I know. So let's get our feet back on the ground and let's have a look what we've just brought in. We've got solar along there. Um, this lifts up. Table. Prep area. Oh, I do like that. Toilet area there. Big fridge, microwave. Oh, I like that. Mm. Plenty of storage. So there it is, the Bailey 79.4. Seatbelt's over there. It's a nice fan, isn't it? It's a good yeah. size fan. Because it's a four berth, isn't it? So this is going to make up into the bed area. So there we go. It's going to be round about the £60,000 mark. We'll propagate up on the website. Um, so there you go. See you in a bit.